First though, my next guest is only nine, but he can almost certainly beat you at chess. He could whip me at chess. For his age, Joshua Altman is one of the top five players in the world, and he's one of the child geniuses featured in a new documentary tonight, which goes in search of Britain's brightest children. To get Josh to the top of the chess world, his regime includes weekly training sessions with an international chess master. What opening is this? Tropovsky. Tropovsky, good. We should do six o'clock. Good. His instincts are good. On top of the relentless chess schedule, to keep him sharp, Mum Hillary has entered Josh into the child genius competition. Check. In any gifted child, challenging them um, is a really important thing to do to keep them engaged and keep them learning. Well, Joshua joins me now along with his mum, Hilary. She's given up her job to focus on Joshua's training. Great to see both of you. Can't believe you're only nine. That's extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. When did you start playing chess then? I started... Well, I started... I, I learned how the pieces moved when yeah. I was about five. Right. And then I started to play competitively when I was about six. Wow. And did you just beat everybody? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I kept going to these, like, amateur tournaments yeah. and I kept winning a lot of trophies. Brilliant. And you love it. You love playing chess. Yeah. It's, it's your big, big passion, isn't it? Yeah. Because that's the thing. You can't make kids do something they don't want to do. You know, he clearly loves it. Well, and I, I think that I just follow Josh's passion. I'm here to help him. Right, exactly. Because you know that people say, oh, here we go, pushy mum and all of that. You know that people... Which I am, so <laughs> that's OK. Are you, are you are a wee bit sure. anyway. But, but you have to... Because he's so bright, yeah. you have to actually keep him... Challenged all the time, I guess. You have to keep, keep making sure that he's, he's not My mum's making sure I play in, like, the correct tournaments, like, right. opens with G with grandmasters oh, and right. some of the best players in the world. I see. So, that be, be, because I don't understand the world of chess. It is a, a mystery to me. But So, obviously, there's some tournaments that aren't so good, but the, the ones yeah. that you do, they're the best ones to make sure. So, what's the ambition, Josh? What do you want to do? What's the big ambition? Well, I want to become a GM by 13. That's a grandmaster? Yeah. By 13? What age are people normally grandmasters? Well, the youngest... Well, 13's like... A no, 13 and 14 are normal ages. Right. But the youngest grandmaster is a Russian um, who was a grandmaster at 12. Right, goodness me. And, and is, I mean, is he still around? Could you play him? Yep. Right, and have you played him yet? Um, no, because he plays in, like, the proper, like... Right. ...tournaments, like, the very competitive okay. one with the top ten players in the world. Right, so it's kind of like Champions League. Yeah. It's all of that. It's that kind of thing, isn't it? And I know that. You, I mean, you don't just play chess constantly all the time. You, you know, you, no. you enjoy sport. You've got a little brother, haven't you? Yeah. And he's he's really into footy, isn't he? He's really into football. Yeah. And he likes being a, an artist as well. Do you get on all right? Is he okay, your brother? Yep, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Typical bit. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. So, if you didn't want to do this, you wouldn't, would you? This Not, is something you no. you really like to do. So if you kind of get a bit fed up with it, what, what what would be the thing that you would do? Can you imagine yourself ever getting bored with chess? Well, chains? I could be an artist because I, I I really like um studying art. Right. Okay. So that would be something up your sleeve. I don't think you're ever going to be short of a short of a job. That's for sure. No. I think I think that's because I be I also am very good at street art, especially. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Street art? Yeah. Right, well, I don't know what that is. Tell me what that is. Um, street art is, you know, you have spray cans and you Oh, have... right, graffiti and all that. Yeah, oh, that can it. <laughs> well, right, okay. well, you have to make sure we, we, that you don't do that anywhere that you're not supposed there to. There are legal tunnels in London. <laughs> I mean, legal places that you can do it. No, we go places, we go places that the mayor, the yes. mayor tells... We get permission from the mayor to do it. Now, the mayor, that might be a sore point with Boris Johnson, because you actually whipped him at, at chess, didn't you? Yeah. How did he take that, Mr Boris Johnson? Well, he said he shook my hand, good game. Yeah. And then, like, I bet very soon he's going to want a rematch. I think very soon he will want a rematch, yeah. but I think he's very silly. And I think this time he's going to come prepared, maybe. Yeah, he's but probably like, thinking to himself, oh, yeah. you know, this kid, he's only nine. I can take him. <laughs> and, then, and then, no, not at all. So what's the future then for both of you? What are you, what are you going to be doing? Well, I think my mum is going to be keeping, keep on doing the same thing, which is taking me places, yeah. doing all the flights, organising all that stuff. Right. Well, I go into tournaments and play and hopefully win. Right, OK. When you don't win, on the very rare occasion that you don't, you must be absolutely gutted. Is it quite difficult? Well, I'm not gutted, but I'm disappointed in myself. Right, OK. And just kind of want to do better the next yeah. time. OK. You must be really proud of him. I'm thrilled. And, you know, I chalk it up to real genius being able to find, being, being able to find the most brilliant move on the board. Yeah, and, and also you you've know, got I... to find something that you're really good yeah. at and that you're very passionate about as well. 
And I think um, for Josh, it's clear it's his passion, and I'm just following my maternal instincts in a modern world. For sure. Nine, only nine. Unbelievable. Josh, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. And it's on the documentaries tonight, 9 o'clock, Channel 4. Yeah. Thank you. Come back and see us when you're a grandmaster. But there's one okay. thing I am not playing you at chase. No chance. <laughs> It'd be a humiliation. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you. Right, still thank to come.